about Ladakh, another thing we need to inform you that Ladakh is a place where the number of Buddhist population we can see. It is not only Buddhism at the same time, and a good number of Muslims also they reside in Ladakh. Do you know the uh, similarity between th their religion is different, right? They have their own different religions. But one similarity they have. Both of this religion, this people, they sing Kesa Saga. That is a common oral uh, religious form of singing songs. Both of these communities, they are following the same thing. That is the similarity, I, I, I can say that is the unification of Ladakh between all this diversity, religious diversity. Let us come to Kerala now. I hope you all know that where Kerala is located. It is the western part, the southwestern state of India, isn't it? Small state, it is just in the coastal region, it is a place in the coastal region next to Arabian Sea. How will be the atmosphere there? Yes, it is getting continuous rainfall, not once but twice in the year, heavy rainfall. Southwest monsoon, monsoon, the moment they are entering in India, they are entering from through Kerala. So it is blessed with monsoon, lots of rainfall, greenery and which naturally give birth to lots of agriculture, vegetable. And as it is the side of Arabian Sea, another way Kerala is blessed. What is that? Kerala is blessed with a number of marine goods. That means fish or sea related products also. So these people in Kerala, they have a very improved lifestyle we can say in compared to Ladakh. Where Ladakh is deprived of getting so many facilities in life. Kerala is not at all that. Kerala is getting all type of facilities that is needed for a human being. They have number of schools, they have number of colleges, offices, good IT companies are there, big uh, government organizations are there and at the same time we need to mention that I told you that Tibet which is situated in mountain, Kerala is situated in a coastal plain area. So it is very easy for Kerala to transport from one place to another. It is not only the roadways, but at the same time, even the river water also, backwater rivers, that also help Kerala a lot for their transport. Even we who uh, cannot, we can forget about the houseboats in Kerala. So beautiful they are, they can even fetch business to Kerala. Ladakh, their livelihood was very limited. I, I can tell you just only the uh, trading of wools which they are getting from their sh uh, ships, they are using that. Here I cannot mention like that. Yes, a number of people, those who are uh, related with agriculture are there. But at the same time, the another part of uh, the society, they are educated and they are earning their livelihood from the service sector. So now you can compare these two places. Kerala is famous for another one thing, I must say that. You know, why first time uh, people from Europe, they started coming to India? It was spice, spice from Kerala. Portuguese people, those who came to India, can you name him? Yes, he is Vasco da Gama, who came to India and he was a spice trader. Kerala is famous for its spice, spice item. At the same time, we even have seen that Ibn Batuta, when he came to India, he wrote about Keralian Muslims, their lifestyle, their practice and he wrote that they, they live a very rich and hygiene lifestyle. They were very much united the way Ibn Batuta wrote about India. What we have seen that mostly two types of religious practice we found in Tibet. One was Buddhism and the another one was uh, Muslim, but in uh, compare comparatively in Kerala, we can see that there are many other religions in Kerala. Naturally, it is a plain, and people are settling there down. 
nicely. So, so many people in different parts of India, they are coming to Kerala to settle down. So, different type of whatever the religious, eight major religion we can find in other parts of religion, mostly all of them we can find in this state also. But the major religion, if we say in that way, yes, it is uh, the Christianity definitely at the same time, uh, Hinduism and Islam. Coming to Christianity, we can say that St. Thomas, nearly 2000 years ago, he was the first person who came to Kerala and he is actually, it is to say that he is the one who brought Christianity to India, who started spreading Christianity to India. If any time you have a time to go Kerala, visit Kerala, you will definitely see his tomb and where the uh, St. Augustine Church, uh, St. Thomas Church is there. Now, the fishing net here, it is looking like something Chinese as the name also is like that. They call it a China Villa. What is China? China means something Chinese. So, we can see that even they have an influence of Chinese people. How can we see why it happened? Because the Chinese traders as it is a main trade center all the time from 2500 years back. We can see that people are coming to Kerala for trading purpose. So we can see a mix of all these things, not only Indian, but other countries also. We can see Portuguese, we can see uh, Jewish, we can see Buddhist, we can, uh, we can experience other religion like uh, Buddhism. All of them are here in Kerala. And we can see a mix up with other places of other re regions of the world also like Chinese. They hear the fishing net is called as China Villa. Even they, uh, uh, the utensils they use for frying, we could, they call it as China Chutti. That, that means nothing but this China name actually it derived from Chinese. And as they are using it again and again, this name continues to be here. What we learned from here? We learned that these two places have many things in different, complete different two places. One is very cold, one is uh, comparatively hot and humid. One place we can see that there is no agriculture. Another place we know that it is famous for his spices and all, which is a product from agriculture itself. Their food habit is also different. Ladakh is mostly depend on boiled food and uh, uh, non-vegetarian items. Whereas in Kerala, we can see people are more fond of eating rice and fish item as fish is mostly available from the marine region. They have a, Kerala has a very fertile land opposite way Ladakh is a de desert. So, so many type of differences we can find in those places. Kerala, Ladakh is mostly concentrated in mainly two religion one is Buddhist one is Islam but Kerala we can find more many you have all eight major religious practice which we can find in India all are there in Kerala. Literature, literacy rate is very high in Kerala and uh, in Ladakh hard to find any school. So diversity in this way it is spreaded in India. One place to another wherever you will go you will find diversity. They are different in their way of living their food, their culture, their thinking process, everything is different. But in one place, we can see that all of them are united. They are united as an Indian. They are united with their cultural value. They, they are united with their ethnic beliefs. They are united with their social and political economic senses. They are united in all these places. Whenever there is something that is needed for their motherland, these all, wherever he is a Tibetan or a Ladakhian or he is a Keralite or he is from Tamil Nadu or from Rajasthan, people are together. They are together standing as Indian. I must quote one thing here. It is about, it is from Jawaharlal Nehru who has uh, written it in the book Discovery of India that it is something deeper in India that within its fold. It is not only the way people are thinking, it is not only the way people are eating their food, but it is much deeper in the country. 
in their uh, the country people in their mind and that is nationality and here the entire India is united it was uh, Pandit Nehru our Chacha Nehru who coined this term unity in diversity India is diversified with everything and many things but even then it is united as a nation as a country if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus